bonus round! Welcome you guys to DVD Extras. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Hopefully you guys have had a good, good, whatever it is, um, day that you have. <laughs> We're feeling really good right now. It's going to be great. I there's still confetti have... everywhere, and there's confetti definitely in my... <laughs> yeah, there's. I'm going to swallow paper right now. It's I didn't great. expect how uh, oh, good. big this was. <laughs> I thought it was like a little like kind of thing, but like it was pretty good. Yeah. Also, you guys make sure you if you guys have not t- uh, donated to uh, our Venmo, make sure you guys do. Like I said, anything that you guys donate tonight is going to go to the Weld County Food Bank. And if you guys don't donate, well, then you guys are okay. You guys are good people. It's fine. So we haven't talked about this, but we did this last time on our fiftieth episode. <laughs> but anything you donate, we will match on the donation. That's kind of our thing. So if you give us fifty bucks, it'll be a hundred total. Hundred bucks. You know, you guys can do math. G can't. So that's why I have to explain. No, it. don't do that because I don't have that much money, man. Come on. Man. Okay, bud. <laughs> Let's see. So far, no one has donated. Wow. Thanks, guys. Thanks. It's fine. We'll just give. It's fine. We'll just give a hundred bucks to the food bank ourselves. Dickish. No, I'm just kidding. Thanks. Cheers, you guys. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I'm glad people are tuning in later, which is all good. Oh man. You all right, G? No. Hey, thanks, Melissa. Yes, a hundred episodes is very exciting. It's I'm a just, lot of fucking episodes. I'm more glad that that went really well. The confetti drop was awesome. Yeah, that was pretty good. Super loud. That was pretty too. good. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a there's. So much confetti on the camera, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's been it's been a, a journey, a lot of learning, a lot of anything. Yeah, that's very true. We're we're here for uh, you know. Honestly, I think okay. Well, we should just take a shot first and then go from there. Oh, I'm not taking I'm not taking that as a shot at yes, all. Yes, you are. I'm sipping on that, dude. Come on, dude. You got this. I definitely do not got uh, this. Chris, come on. Nope. Chris. Nope. Chris. Okay. Oh god, you're drinking half of it. It's great. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Yummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that as a shot. It's yeah. fucking awful. Uh, What's the most shots you ever downed in one sitting? I don't I don't remember. <laughs> uh I wouldn't say this is oh, the that's most a good that's a good question. Yeah, I wouldn't say this is the most, but it's definitely the most that I remember was I was working and then I got off of work and I came to hang out with G and Ryan Gentry doing something. It was like I don't I think it was a holiday. I just don't remember which one. So I met up with G. After he was getting done, and then, no shade to Ryan, but he's a bastard. <laughs> because when I got there, he's like, hey, what's up? Uh, and I was like, nothing, man, just got off of work. He's like, oh, so you're not drunk yet? I'm like, no. And he proceeds to give me three just straight-up Rumpelman shots. That was my fault, by the way. And I was like, God damn it, Ryan, I I'll, I'll be, I'll, no, I'll be the best because I told him, hey, let's get Chris drunk tonight. That's well, exactly yeah, what it was. But I was saying, like, I haven't drank anything yet. And then he's just like, yeah, no, shot, no. shot, no, shot, no, so, shot. So that was my fault because I was just like, if I tell him to take the shot, he's not going to take it. But if you tell him, he's going to take it. So that's on me. That's definitely that's, on me. It's still Ryan's fault. <laughs> he gave it to me and it was his bar. Oh, that's fucking awesome. I love it. Uh, thank you, Kirk. Thank you so much for the donation, man. We do appreciate it. Uh, like I said, uh, when it comes down to the food bank, um, I've been in situations where, you know, we weren't able to eat. And I know how much the food bank actually means to a lot of people and how it can help a lot of people. And hopefully mm-hmm. people, you know, just make sure we're feeding people. So thank you guys yeah. again for doing that. Oh, man, I'm feeling great. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, but also, kind of continuing last story, shout out to Ryan Gentry. He actually was our first studio location. He hooked us up. He literally is one of the foundations of how we actually got this whole thing started. And so. also, you know, just bringing even even in like the, the moments that we kind of struggle with that too was that he he was a businessman. And he, he made, made us realize how to, you know, be business, business people yeah, you know, yeah. just be honest with it so thank you guys thank you for thank you for that ryan congratulations on your kid whenever that pops yeah up. whenever that happens uh, chrissy does vagina it's great um <laughs> that was weird but it's okay. okay it's supposed to be all right yeah. so mark actually had a really good topic that we should totally talk about right now which is if you can have a pet pokemon what would you pick oh man it's it's this question is not as complex as you think if you've played original pokemon what's your starter and that's your answer no. 100%, dude. Eevee is dope. Eevee would be a great pet. Oh, shut the fuck up. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. Okay, thank you. That's dude, all I wanted to hear. It's really, it's like, what is your starting Pokemon? My you, starting Pokemon? Yeah. I think everyone wanted Charizard. Well, it's Charmander is the starter. But yeah, yeah. It, yeah, but yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, everyone wanted Charizard, so then they would go with Charmander. Charmander? Yeah. I would go Squirtle. Oh, no, but... See, they're all pretty good. See, this is why... Squirtle's pretty good, but so is... uh. What's the other fucking guy? Uh, uh, Bulbasaur? Yeah, Bulbasaur. Yeah. Pikachu's pretty dope, though. Pikachu's yeah, Pikachu pretty dope. Pikachu counts because the anime. 
Yeah, yeah. But my starter was always Squirtle. 100% every time Squirtle. Squirtle's pretty dope. But yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid, this wasn't even meant to be a joke. It was just like, oh, his name's Squirtle. I'll name him Squirt. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was my Squirtle's name. Uh, Ditto's pretty cool. Nah, Ditto's a fucking cop out. How about a Snorlax? Snorlax is super hard to catch. It, you have to get the polka flute so you can wake him up. And then <laughs> okay, he no, like no, no, puts all he, your shit to no, sleep. We're, we're talking just about... We're just talking about just pets. Not, not yeah, that's what I'm them. saying. He's a pain in the ass. Okay. And you got to feed him a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bubasaur? Yeah, the first three are definitely good go-tos. And if you guys don't know what we're talking about, I'm so sorry. I'm not. <laughs> Damn. I'm just talking about Kirk and Slay. Pokemon's my shit, bro. That, you're that's t- fair. You're that's talking fair. about two very specific people. Yeah. That's, that's rude, they, they have a life. That's what I'm saying. Uh, who else would there be, though? Uh, yeah, getting past Brock's Onyx is a bitch, but also you can just catch um, an... No, no, no. You can just do Vine Whip with Bulbasaur, mm. and then you can he mm. takes plant damage, which is also super effective. Mark Mark is right on this one. Yeah. Squirtle was half squirrel, half turtle. Yeah, that's why he's called Squirtle. I, I didn't get that. I don't know. I thought that was just like a translation from, you know, Japanese. And too. Charmander is a flaming salamander. Speaking of, speaking so of which. Char- Fucking Mander. Ash's laugh. I've never and liked And Bulbasaur it. is a flower dinosaur, so he's okay. a bulb. So, Mark, uh, because, because you asked this question. Uh, do they evolve, or do they stay that same way, or does, or <laughs> can you pick? Can you pick any of the, one of those? Yeah, I guess that's a fair question. <laughs> Kirk is like definitely up on the Pokemon stuff. <laughs> Kirk, and then ask us the question so we can change the subject. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So if it's if it's the same one, I would definitely go. Oh, that's a hard one. You have, I mean, if, as a pet, you would definitely have to have the first like level of any character. I feel like. Um, I think a Pidgey would be fun. I'd go Pidgey too. Okay, but no, but you have to take in mind that they still have the attacks and abilities to make shit happen. So I think they would be so aggressive because you wouldn't let them fly. You no, you let them fly. You let them uh, a ratatat. Ratatats bite. That's like their literal yeah, main that's attack. Fair. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, let's talk about something else because uh, I don't. That's all. That's all, that's as many Pokemon as I. Uh, know. Plant type does kind of feed itself with sunlight, but it's not exclusive to that. I think they still have to eat. I get a Venusaur. Yeah. Not a Venusaur. What, what's uh? I mean, it's Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur. Not by sure. Okay. I get a Bulbasaur for sure. Yeah, yeah dude, I'm 100% focus planning, man. <laughs> <laughs> Best response to people who shit on Greeley. That's actually a really good one. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so actually, Kirk, that's actually a great, great thing. I actually had a conversation about this today. So... Uh, Chris and I both grew up in Greeley. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is home. Uh, I've tried moving away, and for some reason, Greeley always brings me back. And I think I think there was a stigma about Greeley being terrible. And I think at the at the time that it, that we were there, it was it was correct. And also, we were in the position not to be able to change it. But my biggest response to people say Greeley is a terrible place. Be first of all, it doesn't smell like shit as as much. And if it does, you'll get used to it. And also, every every place you go to is negative. But also, what the fuck are you doing to change to make it better? That's literally what I say tell people. It's like, okay, you hate Greeley. You ask me, you're still here? I hear that a lot, actually, especially during TMP time. Mm-hmm. And my biggest thing is like, all right, what are you doing to make this place better? And if they can't answer them, like, that, then that's why I'm here. Honestly, like I love Greeley. I love I love uh, the community that that the community that I that I'm around is is, is wonderful. It's very supportive. Um, if it wasn't for Greeley, I don't think I would have a, a career in music uh, or even be able to do this shit that we're doing right now. Yeah. Um, the fact that we have, you know, even if it is, you know, how many people it is right now watching the live stream, it means a lot to us. Um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, that's fair. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. and I'm not shitting on people who are moving away for sure. But I'm, but my thing is also, if you're gonna shit on Greeley, what are you doing to fix it? If you're not, then shut the fuck up. Well, I'm just saying, Mark Hayes or Greeley, which one's better? I've been to both. Ooh, I know your answer. That's a, that's a good question. It's not a good question. It's a, have you been to Hayes, Kansas? I drove him by there. It's actually pretty. Tommy, chill. do we have a beer there? Where do we? Where do we uh, beer liquid there? bread, probably. No, no, we went somewhere. And we had a, <laughs> it was like in between. It was halfway. We're like, we needed to stop and have a beer. It's like, all right, let's do it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, this oh, I love all the, I love all the comments, but keep it going. Mm-hmm. If you had one beer for the rest of your life, ninety shilling. Oh man, that's probably a solid. Island. Yeah, so I would either like I want to say I want to have an IPA, but I don't think I could drink an IPA forever because IPA is my favorite style, but it's so just punishing on the mouth. Like it was defiance. That's right. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um. Yeah, I would probably say ninety shilling because like a nice amber is nice. 
But if not, then like something lagery, like a crispy boy. Yeah. Those are my favorite. I will say like, I mean, not just because Tommy's in the chat, but I will say like Zlogger is a pretty solid, solid go to yeah, for yeah. having. It's very just neutral, but have it like it's hint of flavor. So it's good. So Rob said he moved here in 2012 by far the second best place he lived. Northern California is awesome, uh, but it's still California. It's super expensive. That's why yeah. I would never move there. Uh, community is the word. Thank you, Kurt. That you're absolutely right. Um, <laughs> Mark said Grizzly's gotten better since he's left. Yeah, it's because of you, fucker. No, oh, he's back, isn't he? No, he's in Loveland. Oh, dick. Sorry not to dox you, Mark. My bad. His address is. <laughs> His number is. <laughs> five, five, five. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, Pliny. I love Pliny so much, but like. Pliny is hard to drink. Have you ever had Pliny the Elder? I think Pliny is hard to drink. It's also hard to find. But uh, it's not really that hard. It's just they make it that hard because they that's their whole fucking that's thing. Fair. Yeah, but 90 shilling is definitely the way to go for sure. Yeah, I mean. Pliny isn't overrated. It's rated appropriately 10 years ago. That's, it's, that's it's the hard the, thing about the beer industry, man. Is it it's it's the stick. best West Coast I've probably had from anywhere. But also it's a West Coast and people don't realize that. <laughs> you, fun, you know, a fun story. Yeah. I, uh, I was, so I took my mom to San Francisco for her birthday this year, uh, and we were driving from San Francisco to, it's called Med- Medoncillo. Okay. Right, I think next to Fort Bragg, I want to say. Sure. In California. Uh, we drove through, like, uh, Russian River there, and I, I, it took me everything not to be like, can we stop here? Because I really want I really want to go to the brewery, but my mom, you know, my mom's really... Yeah, not, yeah. She's not a drink. Yeah, because in that. Santa Rosa, I believe. Uh, yeah, and so I was like, dude, can we stop? I was like, I was like, oh, the brewery. And she's like, what? I was like, oh, it's a brewery that I've always wanted. She's like, you want to stop? I'm like... No, it's fine. Like, you know, my mom was trying to kind of be, like, open about it, but I'm like, you know. Uh, so. I don't want my first experience to be with someone that doesn't drink beer. That's there. fair. But, like, Russian River is super hard to get into. Is it really? Yeah, like. Uh, why, they, they, okay, the, why the fuck do they have the signs on the fucking highway? That's my because, question. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but, yeah, I've been there two or three times. I don't remember. Um, but, like, every time we waited in the line for, like, 45 minutes. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, every single time. Okay with that. We went there on a Thursday at like 11 in the morning, and we waited 45 minutes in the wrong line because they have a sit-down in the restaurant line, and they have a to-go-only line. It's like Trillium. And we're like, whoops, we're in the wrong line. Let's start over. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, and, uh, we, yeah we ended up, we ended up uh, not going, which is fine. But I mean, my mom, my mom drank wine for once. That was fun. Yeah. Hey, welcome back, Mark. Hey, Mark. You should charge your phone better. I don't know. <laughs> he leave or what no his phone his battery died nerd <laughs> yeah he i i think he has an android so he knows what's mm, up there you go all right chris well you know what, what's one thing that you you would say that you've learned about maybe not necessarily just the podcast but just us maybe starting this thing and also if you guys know we actually own a company uh, it's called geo5 productions should we we should tell them we should tell them what that yeah, means. Tell them. so if you're professional if you're Do you want me to tell a story i'm gonna tell the story you tell the story yeah so gfy productions it spawned from us being artistically inclined in our families and always getting the response of like, you should get a real job kind of thing. So, yes. Yeah. So like when we try to do music, it's like, Oh, music's cool. But like, what's your job? And then it's like, you know, it's fucking music, man. I don't know what to tell you, but like the people that supported you, they're always like, Hey, you're doing this now. That's good for you. So part of it is like, yeah, the people who supported us have always supported us. And they're telling us, hey, good for you for starting your own business, doing something with something you're passionate in, all that kind of stuff. And then the second half of it is those people that are like, hey, you should get a real job. And we tell them like, oh, we own a production studio, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, yeah, but you should get a real job. So it's like, hey, go fuck yourself. That's right. Welcome. Oh, man. We're running a little bit late over here. It's great. Um, D&D is showing up. So now we have a live studio audience. There you go. Uh, yeah. So honestly, our biggest thing is that we call it GFI for, it depends on who's asking you. If it, yeah, it if depends it's, who's if asking. If it's like a, like, you know, like a business that's like, you know, making a lot of money. We're like, oh, it's good for you. Yeah. But if it's our buddies who are trying to make some shit happen, we say, go fuck yourself. Because yeah, honestly, like, it's, and we don't mean that more in like an eventual way. It's more so in the sense of just. There are too many people who don't understand how this media it works kind of thing. Not only yeah. that, but I think sometimes it's like we don't mean it to them. It's more of just like us encouraging us to be like, no, go fuck yourself. We're going to prove you wrong. Like, yeah. And that's ultimately what it comes down it's to. It's out so. of spite. It's always out of spite. Yeah. So it's one of those things for sure. Um, next thing we have is uh, would you rather go, would you rather get a disease that totally numbs your whole crotch region for the rest of your life or be deaf? Uh, I, I, I mean, my crotch, it's fine. Yeah. I, mean, I'm, I'm, I don't think I want to ever I need, be deaf. I need audio for sure. Yeah. Uh, I blame this guy for sure. He's he's bought like these headphones that he he bought us is it's uh they 
I can't. The ones that we're rocking right now, the uh, Grado SR80s. <sighs> They're actually a family-owned company out of New York, and they make absolutely fantastic open-back headphones for relatively inexpensive. <laughs> so if yeah. you guys if you guys are audiophiles and you want, like, a solid open-back headphone, that's a very, like, flat response. These ones are really good. I think I'll say this. I think if you're in a relationship that you care about and you really want to, like, be with that person for the rest of your life, sex should not be the one thing that drives it. <laughs> So, wow, you got really deep there on a very no, no. stupid question. No, no, but but I'm saying like in that case, like I'd rather honestly, I'd rather have my hearing than that that situation because I think I think it could make it work out. Yeah, but then you have to listen to your wife all the time. No, nah, I don't much. Heather's fucking awesome. I mean, I'm sleeping on the couch here. It's fine, but you know, it's, <laughs> she's fucking awesome. I love it. <laughs> she's I would, awesome, and I'm sleeping on the couch I tonight. Would, okay, but I get why Bruh. I'm sleeping on the couch Bruh. tonight. Bruh. You know what I mean, like. Like, here's the thing is, like, if I'm just like, yo, you're mad at me because I got drunk because I did a live stream on fucking Facebook, I'd be like, all right, no. I don't, I don't think she's right. mad at you. No, she's not. She's actually really good about that, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Andy. Yeah, please don't kick us out. <laughs> oh, Andy's in this? Yeah. Hey, Andy. Also, yeah, huge shout out to Andy Nagel. Uh, Andy Nagel is a, a wonderful man who, who gave us a shot. And we Oh, yeah, that. so Thanks we so shouted much. out Ryan Gentry, got a shout out on Andy. He is, again, one of the foundations on helping us take our business to the absolute next level. And where we're at now is perfect for everything that we're doing. Um, because like Absolutely. just having a professional looking space, a big enough space, people come in here and are like, wow, this is impressive. Not only that, man, it's yeah. also it's also the expectation of us to be like, listen, we have the spot. What are we gonna do with it to make our 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 material, our craft and our creativeness to the next level? Mm -hmm. Um and I think Andy, honestly, Andy, I there's however we can repay you, man, if it's just like, dude, like you got to clean my house for the rest of the year. <laughs> yeah. It's a couple of days. We'll totally do it. It's yeah. fine. Uh, thank you so much, Andy. We do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, no, this is, this has been a, uh, it's, it's kind of weird, man. It, this year has been, these last two years specifically have been very, very necessary, but it's, also unfortunate. Yeah. It's been a hard lesson to learn on a lot of things, but also it's been a very valuable lesson to learn a lot of what we're doing too. Yeah, man. And I, I think honestly, like, when people say sometimes that you don't, when people say like, if I can do it, you can do it too. You know, I think when, I guess it depends on who says it, but I think mm -hmm. for me more than anything, if I can do it, if Chris can do it, like you guys can absolutely yeah, do it. Yeah, that says a lot. That um, says a lot. I we literally came from, like built this company in the pandemic. Yeah. yeah. Beca because we were so desperate to be like, how can we make mm -hmm. the income that we were making? Before? I don't know. It, it's, it's a whole whole thing. But at the end of the day, it man, is a like, whole thing. Um, I guess all I can say, because we call it, call it, call it, here, send it later, because it's been two hours, you guys don't want to hear this for any more, but <laughs> um, I guess what I can say from my experience, and, I'm, and hopefully Chris might agree, he, if he disagrees, I, I will be okay with it as well, but at the end of the day, it's working your ass off, but it's also just working. It's not even working your ass yeah, off. It's, yeah. it's literally like, if you say, you're gonna, if you want to do something, the hardest thing is actually taking the first step and doing it. Yeah, and um, that's like kind of one thing that we built this company on is talk is cheap. Yeah, and absolutely. you can talk to us about all these ideas that you want to do. And if you want to do it, we're definitely the people to talk to to actually do it. Because we will be like, hey, we're doing this, right? Hey, hey, hey. And we'll fucking pester you I will you be until annoying as shit just to yeah. make sure you guys are doing that. Honestly, like, and that's the thing is, like, at the end of the day, like, anyone who's watching, we appreciate you guys uh, taking the effort and time and hopefully spending two hours with us, which, holy shit, why? Yeah. For yeah. one. But two, thank you. Um yeah, no, and there's a reason why we're doing tips is because we want to help the food bank. We understand mm -hmm. people out there that, you know, we want to know, we want people to know that even if they're the lowest of low, people are looking out for them and people want, are rooting for them. Mm -hmm. um, and we're rooting for you guys and we're rooting, for, we're rooting for ourselves. And yeah, we made a mess tonight here at the studio with a lot of confetti, which as you can tell, it's awesome. Yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, but at the end of the day, it, it is something that we enjoy doing and we were happy to do it. And mm -hmm. so we want happiness to be kind of around everyone else. Um Sorry, I'm getting too, I'm getting a little deeper now because it got from really funny to really serious. So I'm gonna shut the fuck up. I'm just listening. Yeah. Uh, one more <laughs> shot. Are we good? Uh, I still have this shot. Yeah, I'm, I'm done, dude. What, what are you doing? All right, hold on. Any last questions you guys might have? Please let us know. Uh, if not, uh, we're gonna be calling. Uh, if we got 50k, is that 50k each or 50k total, like between the both of us? Wait, what? Oh, I'm not there yet. Yeah. Mark said, if you got miracle 50,000, what would you spend it on? So that's like fifty thousand each or together. Because if we got each, then that'd be a hundred thousand. I can probably answer for G and saying like we're buying a lot of fucking gear. I would say that we would spend fifty thousand ourselves and probably. He said, "Yeah, he said sure each." 
Okay. Oh, if it's fifty thousand, I'd be like, all right, Chris, we're spending fifty thousand on material, and fifty thousand we're gonna we're gonna donate to something that's gonna be beneficial. Mm, I wouldn't say fifty thousand. I'd say probably like twenty. 400 bucks oh man all right what's well, my 50 grand so yeah <laughs> i'll do whatever i want but i definitely think we'd probably just i mean legitimately all of our extra resources go to upgrade every equipment in this fucking place that's true yeah. we really want to we really want to we really want to build a platform that's going to be able to help businesses out to feel like they have to can take it to the next level mm-hmm. um and not not break the bank with it yeah, I'd I'd rather I'd rather lose money to help people than make money to not help people. Or make yeah, and like worse. and like one of our which well, is a stupid it's a stupid business plan. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's but. it's ter- we have a terrible business plan because we want to work for free so much. But like uh, I would say, you guys are fucking worth it, man. Yeah, if you guys are working your ass off, you got your worth. It's worth. Yeah, because we want to make really better in any way we can. <laughs> we want to make really grading in his own. You're about to say I, it, I was I was going to, but I want to still publish jam. <laughs> But, like, uh, one of our goals, well, mostly my goal, I don't know if, how G feels about this, but I think we're on the same page. Yeah. Um, is, like, we want to do, like, outreach programs to all the local high schools and meet all of the musicians that work there and do, like, hey, you need a demo for, like, your your college tryout. Like, let's make it professional so it helps you more kind of thing. Or if it's, like, a high school band, um, they're like, hey, we'll do a cheap demo for you. Because the worst thing about being in high school is that you have no money. And you might have parents that have money, but, like, they probably won't throw it down on, like, a five-song EP, you know? So we wanted to try to make that, like, affordable and help all the high school kids pursue their dreams and all that kind of stuff. And even adults, too, man. At the end of the day, honestly, if you have, if you have like, an aspiration to do something, First step is just taking the step. And if you don't know how, be vulnerable about it and mm-hmm. fail and feel stupid and just be like, all right, I felt stupid about that. Yeah. How can I make it better? Yeah. yeah. Um, 10 6 Cowboys. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Thank you <for> that. <laughs> Thanks for the update. Honestly, uh, sometimes the sports uh, don't matter when it comes to actually have, doing some cool shit that I really enjoy doing. So thank you guys yeah. again. Uh, we're going to leave you guys with that. We hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Our podcasts are not this crazy. Uh, but they're, they're, you know, we, we want, we like talking about subjects that might, might a, stream at the, t- at the, at the, at your stereo or whatever it is. Yeah. We're, we're a good podcast to listen to in increments. Cause we break it down in su- like rounds. So like, yeah, 15 minutes, you can listen to two subjects, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to get going because you know what? I need to, I need to find a way home. Um, so, but yeah, before we head out, we just want to say thank you guys for this hundred episodes. It's been absolutely amazing. It has. The OGs are OGs stuck there since day one, which is fantastic. I really appreciate you guys. And we just kind of are going to take a little break. We're going to take a little break to work on some other things that we want to work on, some passion passion projects and stuff like that. But if you guys ever need any type of media stuff or photography or just someone just Photography. Kinda, yeah, some, some, some person to <laughs> fucking kick you in the ass to be like, all right, when are we doing this? Let yeah. us know. We'll be, we'll be here for you guys. So thank you guys again. Last shot of the day. Cheers. Salud. We'll see you guys. We'll see you guys in March. We're taking two months off. Episode 101. Be prepared. That's March. right. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. We'll see you guys next year. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Cheers. <laughs>